to Health Facts with Dr. Danish. Uh, this video is a recap of my past videos about blood clotting issues uh, in COVID-19 patients and the potential solution according to these studies. In this video, we'll see how adding these two easy access supplements or herbs could save lives or uh, prevent from severe complications from COVID-19 infection. As you all know, COVID-19 infection increases the chance of blood clotting through increasing the oxidative stress. Here is why we should all be mindful about this issue and the top two ingredients which could be life-saving in this pandemic. As you know, we all encourage people to stay home, to stay safe, and that's true. But the issue with this uh, staying home is that uh, we're going to have lack of activity or lack of exercise. And we're not doing the, our regular exercise that we have been doing. Uh, some people have been going to a gym. Some people actually have been going to their jobs and then they, they are staying active. Um, by some sort of uh, daily activity but not right now and that's actually increasing the uh, probability of acquiring the chronic diseases there are more than 35 uh, chronic diseases uh, caused by inactivity or lack of exercise uh, such as diabetes mellitus type 2 um, cardiovascular disease non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and uh, depression and anxiety bone loss osteoporosis and uh, so on and so forth uh, and also one of the most important one that is uh, uh, really important in COVID-19 is increasing the coagulation issue in this study published in PubMed uh, in April 27, 2020, very recent study as you can see, anticoagulant treatment is associated with decreased mortality in severe coronavirus disease 2019 patients with coagulopathy. The 28-day mortality between heparin users and non-users were compared. There were 449 patients with severe COVID-19 enrolled in into this study and they concluded that the anticoagulant therapy mainly with low molecular weight heparin appears to be associated with better prognosis in severe COVID-19 patients with markedly elevated D-dimer. After reviewing 19 articles concerning the cardiovascular pharmacological effects of uh, AMLA or EO, uh, they found that the plant has shown anti-atherogenic, anticoagulant, hypolipidemic, uh, antihypertensive, antioxidant, and antiplatelet and vasodilatory effects, as well as lipid deposition inhibitory properties. So my recommendation for patients who tested positive for COVID-19 is to take one teaspoon of amla fruit in one cup of water or juice or their smoothie and prophylactically and uh, in patients with chronic diseases such as hypertension diabetes mellitus type 2 cardiovascular disease or obesity um, also one to three teaspoon of uh, amla fruit in a cup of water um, could really help them with cardiovascular system also, in uh, healthy people, uh, taking one teaspoon of amla fruit in one cup of water could actually bring uh, the healthy cardiovascular system. Also, they can actually balance the lipid profile for them. So we need a natural compound in our food or our supplement routine. Uh, to keep our coronary artery uh, open to maintain the necessary blood flow in our heart and also in our cerebrovascular system in our brain and other organs. There are many health benefits for ginkgo which is an herb 
uh, with a long history of medical use or medicinal use in traditional medicine. However, we didn't have any medical proof until we put it to the test. In this study published in 2008, uh, it titled Ginkgo Biloba Extract Improves Coronary Blood Flow in Healthy Elderly Adults. They looked at the Ginkgo Biloba Extract role in endothelial dependent vasodilation, which means opening the vessels with the help of endothelial cells inside the lumen of the vasculature system. They looked at the effects of GBE, which is ginkgo biloba extract, on distal left anterior descending coronary artery, LAD blood flow, and the endothelium dependent brachial artery flow mediated dilation, which is FMD, in healthy elderly adults. Since ginkgo extract has an antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties and also improve asthma and COPD symptoms. And as you could see in the study, in the past study, uh, the improving the blood flow in the coronary arteries and also in brachial artery, which is the uh, arm artery. Taking it before, during, and after COVID-19 infection could be beneficial for the patients who are affected with this virus. However, I would say in patients with migraine headaches and uh, patients who are on blood thinners, they have to be cautious in taking uh, uh, the ginkgo biloba as it might actually aggravate their symptoms. Ginkgo also helped with the PMS, uh, premenstrual syndrome in ladies, and also improved the brain function and well-being and also uh, reduce in anxiety in uh, many, many patients. Also, it could actually help with the depression and can support vision and eye health. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like this video and find it beneficial, please share it in your social media and uh, to your friend and families. And uh, like always, stay happy and healthy. Thanks and have a great day.